the first thing you need to be able to do for um, for the exam is to do some binary conversions. And I, I mean, most of you guys are really good at this anyway, so I don't think this will be a big deal. So the first thing we need to think about is the fact that binary is a base two system. So that means there are two symbols and those symbols are naught and one. So they're the only symbols that you can put in uh, to a column in binary. So denary, sometimes called decimal, is a base 10 system. And as you know, you've got ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. So you can put any number between zero and nine into the columns on a base 10 number system on decimal. This is the numbers you've been using um, kind of for most of your life, really. So if I wanted to represent 21, I'm saying that that's two tens and one single unit, 21. If I wanted to represent that same 21 in binary, then just like I've got zero here in the thousands column and zero in the hundreds column, I'm just going to start on this side and say that, that there are no 128s or 64s or 32s that actually go into 21. But 16 does. So I can have a 16 and that's going to leave me five left. So if I wanted to do it formally, I could just do the takeaway sum and say that I've got five left. So there are no eights that go into five, but there is a four and I've taken four away and now I've got one. And so there's no twos in that, but there is a one. And so my binary representation for 21 is zero, 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 one, zero, one, zero, one.